Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today, and this is day two of the 12 days of Christmas. The supplies you're going to need is cherry cobbler cardstock that measures 10 and a half by four and a quarter, B. Mary designer series paper that measures four and a half by three, a scrap of whisper white, uh, it's like one and an eighth by four. It's just a scrap for the circle. And then garden green, again, a scrap, like two by three, and that's just for this scallop circle. Okay, let me get out the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. We're going to place it on the 10 and a half inch side first, which I like to call this the landscape side. And we're going to score it at a half an inch, three, five and a half, and eight. We're going to turn it on the four and a quarter side, which I call the portrait side, and we're going to score it at a half an inch and three. Now let's fold this on the score lines. Here's the template, and you're um, on the instruction sheet that's free, posted over on my website. Um, there will, will be a diagram on the instruction sheet showing you this template, okay? So I'm going to take the half inch section up here at the top, start down here, and I'm just going to cut up to the score line, and then I'm going to remove this section right here. And then now up at the top, you want to make sure that your half inch strip is over here, okay? And we're going to remove this section here. So I'm going to cut up to the score line, and then I'm going to completely remove this section. And then you don't want to cut that part, so all we're going to do is cut up to the score line, cut up to the score line, and then we need to remove this section right here. So I'm just going to fold these down and then cut across. The last thing I'm going to cut is I just want to angle cut this little piece right here. And you don't have to do this. I just like, I just like it. <laughs> okay, so here it is. I'll move the template out of the way. I'm going to get my tear and tape. So we're going to add our adhesive on this strip right here. Take my paper piercer and remove the backing. And then fold this over. There we go. Okay. Now, I gotta remember how to do this all of a sudden. See, like that, okay? So, these, this is the front and this is the back. And then we wanna put adhesive on these two tabs. So here, where'd I put my adhesive? Here we go. Okay, so the way to remember which um, panels to put your adhesive on is your front and back, okay? Sorry about that. I forgot to turn my notifications off on my phone, or my watch, I should say. I turned it off on my phone and forgot the watch. <laughs> Always something, right? Okay. Now, paper piercer... Fold these in and fold that over and fold that over just like that. So I'm going to take my bone folder and just kind of make sure it's sealed. That adhesive is really strong. So, okay, there again. We'll take the library clip for 
the time being just to hold it. And then now what we're going to do is um, stamp our image. Okay, so the stamp set that we're using is Santa's suit. We're using this Happy Christmas to All. And it does have a second part to the image. We're going to cover that up with a post-it note, okay? So let me get that. I want to make sure that I cover up the right part of it. So there we go. Front row. And then stamp it. There we go. We're going to cut that out with a one inch circle punch. Now we're going to cut out the little scallop circle with the layering circle framelits. And then this designer series paper we're going to cut out with the lots of label um, framelit. So let me get the big shot. Okay, here's the big shot. Magnetic platform and cutting pad. I'm going to place the designer series paper on here first and cut that piece out. Now we're going to take the garden green and cut that piece out. Okay, let's bring all of our pieces back in. I apologize if you hear the dogs barking. It never fails. Something is always making noises in this house. I give up. <laughs> okay, so now what you're going to do, let's go ahead and attach this to my circle, or scallop circle, I should say. Yeah, so the noise you hear is Bella barking because the neighbor's dog is outside barking at something. Probably a deer. Okay. We're going to take a metallic star. This is the gold. I was hoping these would have been on sale last week when we were having the, the sale because I use them so much. Okay, I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of that and we'll set it aside for just a minute. We've got these little wreaths right here. Love these things. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so to, to do it like this, all you have to do is just unwind it. And I actually do this with grapevine um, I put around my door. So, see how cute that is? So what we're going to do is take this piece here and just fold it in half. Okay? Now you can glue this down to the back side and then not the front side okay so I'm going to line that up with the top carefully okay see how easy that was you just want to make sure you put it on there straight it looks like I might be a tad bit crooked. Where's my clip? Where'd I put it? Oh, here it is. Right in front of my face, right? Okay, so this one's going to go. Just want to kind of curl that around. Get it however you like it. These bend and twist really easily. So, one side going up, one side going down. Why is it that the this one turned out really cute instantly, and now this one, as I'm filming, it's like it wants to be a little stubborn, right? It's because I want it to look perfect. That's why it's doing that. Okay, now. The rest of this we're going to add our image right here and our final step is we want to take some of this gold taffeta ribbon I think this was on sale last week um, hopefully you got some and we're just going to make a small bow I don't want to waste any of this I think I'm on my last roll. I should have ordered some last week, and I don't think I did. 
Okay. Okay, here goes at my commercial. Head over to my website, leave a comment, enter win. I'm going to send someone a pack of the metallic enamel shapes. Okay. I don't mention these specials over on my website. It's kind of an exclusive thing for those of you that are watching the video. So only you guys know I'm giving this away. I don't know that I've ever said that. Maybe I have. I don't know about y'all, but this time of year, my brain starts to get really frazzled too with all the shopping and all the cooking and everything. So I like have a million thoughts running through my head at all times. Okay, so there they both are. Cute, aren't they? Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.